Paolo, hurry up, man. We're in the middle of I don't know where. So hurry up, my boy. Your thing, my boy. What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Capris here with another video and another adventure. I want to go check out this car. Hopefully we can bring it back because it is kind of a drive for a Saturday day, you know. It's about a four hour and a half drive. So it's almost like a 12 round trip because, you know, you get there, stop, check out the car, make sure everything's good. So yeah, we are on the way. I am in the tow truck and I got my cold pilot right here. Check him out, Pablo. Pablo, there we go. Yep, got my co-pilot for today. Um, this is a 1983 or 84. I think it's an 83 Oldsmobile 9A Regency. I don't know why, but I find all these cars all the time in Michigan, and I've been eyeing this one for a while. I just just trying to avoid that drive since we've been having a lot of snow and this weather condition is just not the greatest. So found a slow day today so I figured go check it out and hopefully we can make it happen and bring it back with us so stay tuned for the ride let's see if we can make it happen and hopefully it goes well like we are getting to our destination pretty dark out here had to put the high beams look like we are here in the woods or somewhere in Michigan just imagine how many cars are out here stashed and barns and stuff dark out here guys hope everything's pretty good with this car no funny business it almost looks similar to uh, the previous one I had bought kind of like the similar road similar houses it was almost the same distance this one's a little bit further Not this one. Wrong house. He did say that he had Christmas lights, so it is the next following one. I do remember that. Where's his driveway? Don't want to go in the ditch. Up uh, right here. Here it is, guys.
stuff melded and everything. I thought I was going to have trouble moving this thing. And it's came just right big, out. Just a big old boat. <laughs> it had no problem. So this was to be your uh, father's car? Yeah, this is my dad's. These things usually just break. Well, yeah, they're they're just washing the car. I mean, they were fine when I took it out of the garage. Yeah. I had the same thing happen to uh, an 81 Olds, 88. You know, I mean, you even touch them with your hand and they just they crack. pulverize. So they're is the like glass. So is the headliner. They fall. Yeah. So the skirts are in there. Um, the tool for the wheel covers is in the glove box. Uh, I found, I don't know if it's the jack, but it's one of the jacks for this car. You know, he had several of these. But. Okay. Drives good though? Yeah, there's, I mean, it's, he put new brakes on it and stuff before he pulled it in the garage to change the water pump. I mean, it's been sitting out back there since before that big snow came and started yeah. right up don't look like you guys got that much snow Looks well like, we, oh. we we did yeah but it mostly melted um when i put it back together i could not find this plastic radiator cover so i took it off another one it's it'll act it actually says 84 okay but it's an 83 car okay so i still need to find the original <laughs> that one with the original one <laughs> For the other car, or I know there's a kind of a drunker uh, 81 that I can rob it off of when I get the other car out. But. Is there a gas station nearby? Um, for your truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I did. Yeah. Um, how how did you? I don't even know. Did to you come honest. through Toledo? I think so. Okay. I'm from uh, 75. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how low you are, but... I'm pretty low. Uh, there's one in Temperance here. That's probably... Well, if, if you go straight out to... If you go straight out to 75 from here... Okay. Um, there's a station there at Luna Pier. Um, did you... Did you get off 75 like at exit 6 and come across? Does that sound familiar? No, it, it did tell me, but I, I missed it, so I got on exit 2. Okay. Yeah, I missed the 6. If and... you if you, uh, if you go straight down here to the first, not the first road, but the first major road, which is the second road, okay. and take a left, that'll take you straight over to 75. That, I'm not going to guarantee that gas station's open right now. but I'll probably it just GPS be. it. It probably tells me yeah, whatever is open that, right now. That exit has a gas station. That's kind of a truck stop type of thing, so it should be open. But in these days, it, you never know. I've been to, I've been to a McDonald's at one o'clock in the afternoon up Detroit suburb, you know, for work, and yeah. they were closed because they don't <laughs> have anybody that wants to work. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of people. Like, are you kidding me? A McDonald's in a busy part of the city? Oh, let me. Light. Oh, power lock still work. Oh, yeah. yeah, everything seems to Through the lock. Hold on, what did I do? Oh, keys are in the trunk. Trunk. Nice dash, no cracks. Are those miles the original miles? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this sounds crazy, but my next door neighbor, he's in Florida right now, but my next door neighbor over yeah. here. Yeah. I didn't know this until. Well, it was before my dad died. I found a copy of the title laying around, and I saw the name, and I'm like, "What the hell? That's that's my next door neighbor." Yeah. And then I real I figured it out. It's his, he's a junior. It's his dad's. Okay. You know, I my dad lived 40 minutes from here or whatever, 35, 40 minutes from here. And his dad was, you know, about another 15 minutes or so east in Fremont. But my dad bought this car from his dad. Oh <laughs> so wow. So originally, I was like, I told him, I'm like, hey, would you be interested in, you know, your dad's car? Because his dad died about a year before mine. And he's like, oh, I don't want that big old thing. <laughs> well, it was kind of funny. Can you turn the lights on? Yep. I was hoping for these to work. 
maybe just a fuse or something. Could have drove this back or not? Iffy. <laughs> you, I mean, you never know. Yeah, I it's mean, an old I, car. I'm, I'm honest with people. Right. If I was from Chicago, yeah, in the winter time, hell no, I wouldn't drive it back. <laughs> Could you do it? Probably. Especially but not I'm, if I'm not 20 years old anymore. Yeah. I mean, I would have all kinds of tools and stuff with me and spare parts and everything else. But you know, you don't take for whatever reason the old mobiles. This is the second one I pulled out. Brakes weren't locked up or anything. He had an 87 Cadillac Elder, uh, uh, Coupe de Ville. Nice. And brakes were locked up on it. I mean, I literally had to soak the concrete floor to get it up on the, you know, pull it out with my wench. And that yeah. thing was a piece of shit. But the old mobiles, the brakes aren't locked up. They start right up, you know. Trying to tug numbers. Well, guys, made it happen. 1983 Oldsmobile 980 is going back with us. Got a long, long drive back home. It's about five hours. But we are locked and loaded. About to gas up and hit the road. I am tired, cold, hungry, all of the above. So yeah, guys, get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about our latest pickup, the 1983 Oldsmobile 98. We'll be in the market soon. So if you guys are interested, man, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so you can keep updated on this car for anything that's uh going to be coming soon so subscribe to the channel hit the like button hit the notification bell leave a comment thanks for watching